Hey there folks, it's Antar. Happy July 1st. Today I am bringing you the updated tier lists for the official Smogon tiers. Um, not only including the three month usage updates, but also giving you the initial tiers of the newly released uh, forms that were just reintroduced in Black and White 2. Now you might think that it's silly. Uh, people have basically said, well, why are you updating the tiers on July 1st rather than waiting a month to see where all the things settle with the new forms and the new moves and the new Dream World abilities? And the answer is, well, it's really going to take more than one month for those things to settle. I, it's my decision, and people have been going with it, that we're going to wait three months. Basically, it's going to be kind of like when Black and White were first released, and it's kind of like a free-for-all of everyone trying to figure out where everything's going. If anything is obviously broken, any of the new Dream World abilities are obviously broken, that's what the Suspect Councils are for. They can ban things out of the lower tiers, and the OU Suspect Council can ban anything that's broken in OU up to Ubers. But for now, uh, we're just going with this. So let's start off with the newly released uh, Black and White 2 forms uh, and Pokemon. So first off, we have the Qrem forms. These were actually declared to be Uber. We're not even going to playtest them because with base 170 special attack and what, base 95 speed, it's, it's not even a question. These things are going to be Uber. They have better stats than... Um, you know, Curum and Reshiram. So, yeah, starting off their lives as Uber just makes sense. Uh, we may later decide to playtest them in OU, but it's really not very likely. Uh, Keldeo has been released. Uh, Keldeo is going to start off its life as OU. Uh, the three Therian forms of the genies, Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus, are starting off their lives as OU. Uh, Thunderous, its regular form is Uber, but it's still going to be playtested in OU, and if it's broken, it'll get uh, knocked up uh, to the higher tiers. Anyway, or the higher tier Ubers. Finally, uh, just I have Ditto here to represent all of the Pokemon that have just gotten their Dream World abilities released. Basically, you're playing them as is. If they're broken, they'll get knocked up a tier, uh, banned from uh, banned using suspect voting, um, or in three months they'll get to their right place. Um, but Ditto is especially important. Ditto got its uh, ability Imposter released, which allows it to, uh, in no turns at all, as soon as it switches out to mimic its opponent's form, you slap a scarf on that thing and you've got an amazing revenge killer. So Ditto is starting its life off in PU. It is almost certainly not going to stay there. I'm hoping that none of the suspect councils ban it, but for the next three months, you can use uh, Ditto in every single tier. That's right, every single tier. Uh, every single Gen 5 standard tier, you can use Ditto, Imposter Ditto, and it's going to be incredible. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to enjoy it like hell. Uh, I mean, in the end, it's probably going to end up like UU, based on Dreamworld OU, so it doesn't look like it's quite going to make it to OU, but, you know, you never know. So that. So yeah, uh, Ditto, it's going to be amazing, amazing. I'm enjoying it so much. Or I'm going to enjoy it so much. Okay, now let's look at OU and UU. Um, so... Uh, a lot of these changes were predicted, but basically we've got Mew going up from uh, UU to OU. Uh, it's kind of sad for me because I've got a UU on one of my... I, I've got a, a Mew on one of my UU teams, but it's not that big of a deal. I'll just put uh, Uxie back on. Um, Hippowdon used to be borderline. Now it is OU. Uh, Chansey... Despite what you're seeing on the screen, Chansey is actually not dropping from OU to UU. That is a mistake, based on the fact that I made this video a few days ago. Uh, yeah, not dropping after all. Sorry. Uh, Obama Snow rose to OU. Uh, Snover used to be borderline, but now that it has its release Dream World ability, they've decided to just ban Snow Warning and make, uh, you know, have Snover leave borderline. It's almost certainly not going to stay in UU past this month. Next uh, next cycle will almost certainly be RU. Then we'll see how far it drops, whether it drops down to NU uh, and then PU after that. My, I guess it's probably going to drop all the way down. I mean, it's, it's a little cut Pokemon, and without Snow Warning, it really doesn't have much to uh, show for itself. Deoxys D... Uh, used to be borderline, now is OU. No difference at all except for what it's called. Uh, Scrafty is actually dropping down, as is Mind Food. Now this is really great considering Chansey is down. Now, as are two of its better counters, Mind, uh, Mind Shao especially is going to be really nice for dealing with Chansey. And, you know, with Regenerator and everything, it's kind of an amazing Pokemon in general. But yeah, we've been waiting for these two Pokemon to drop for a while, so it's exciting that they finally have. Um, so yeah. 
Next up, we have Yu Yu and Ryu. Uh, as predicted, Porygon Z is rising from Borderline 2, and Nidoqueen Queen is dropping down from Yu Yu to Ryu. What wasn't expected is that Escavalier is also dropping down to Ryu. Okay, that works. Um, I mean, I don't think Escavalier is going to be particularly menacing in Ryu due to its slow speed, but it's nice that maybe it'll have a slightly better chance to shine. RU and NU, a uh, bunch of changes. So to start off with, we've got Quagsire, Magmortar, and Cryogonal are all rising to RU. That means that uh, NU has lost one of its better spinners, especially for spikes, and that's kind of sucky. Magmortar is gone. Uh, that's a little bit surprising. A uh, good thing that Jinx is banned, considering that uh, Jinx is in Borderline 3. Uh, good thing that Jinx has been, because otherwise we would have lost one of the main counters to Jinx in Magmortar. Uh, Cryogonal, sorry, Golurk is actually falling from RU to NU. Kind of interesting. Oh, well, it is what it is. Now, here is the big surprise. I would say this is the biggest surprise of all the tier shifts. Metang, humble little Metang, sitting, sitting in PU, has risen to RU. What the hell? The answer, as far as we can tell, is that people... We're basically spamming uh, Golurk, not Golurk, I'm sorry, Metang in the RU tier uh, on the Smog on PO. Uh, RU is one of the least active of the, I think it's actually the least active of the standard tiers. So it's actually kind of, if you can get you and your a bunch of your friends to uh, use the same Pokemon over and over again, it will rise or fall. It's actually quite annoying, and but there's not, I mean, it's, it's annoying, it's obnoxious, but there's nothing technically wrong with it. Tiers are based on usage, and the fact is that Matang was used enough to be in RU this cycle. So, uh, NU and PU have lost a decent Stealth Rock setter upper, but there are so many Pokemon that can set up Stealth Rocks, I really don't think that anyone's going to be missing Matang. Now, on to the last uh, tier shifts. NU and PU. As you can tell, they're kind of a lot. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there are a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so Raichu is, has gone down. Uh, Raichu is now down. What happened? Okay. Um, Luxray is somewhere. Luxray has left NU, gone into PU. Uh, it's still legal in NU, but still. Leafeon, Leafeon. Leafeon's down. Uh, Electros. Sorry, folks, uh, basically the reason this is taking so long is because I have so many layers. Electros is going down from NU to PU. Yeah, this is, I'm using Photoshop to do this. Probably not the best program, but oh well. Uh, Duosion. Duosion is somewhere. Duosion is also down from P NU to PU. Um, Bastiodon and Camerupt were predicted to fall, but both of them have stayed up. That sucks for me. I was really hoping to use Camerupt on a PU team, but oh well, you can't always get what you want. Kangaskhan, predicted to rise, has risen to NU. Um, Electabuzz, also rising. Uh, all these Pokemon are rising, so I'm just going to list them as they come. Lapras. Um, Ampharos. Where are you? Jumpluff. Jumpluff is up. Ursaring. Ursaring, Ursaring, Ursaring is where? Ursaring is here. Ursaring has risen. So yeah, lots of strong normal type sweepers rising. Also some electric types. Um, Ursaring has risen. Piloswine is now NU. Congratulations, Piloswine. Lanoon. This is going to make many, many, many people, including myself, sad. Lanoon is up to NU. Such a shame. Not that I ever managed to really use it very well in PU. It's really hard for that thing to... I actually am surprised that it's risen up to NU. I guess the point of it is... I mean, the belly drum set is, I guess, really effective if you can find an opportunity to set up. But it's actually harder to find an opportunity to set up than you might think. Regice. Regice is, has risen to NU. Um, Rampardos has risen to NU. Uh, lots of Pokemon have risen to NU. Basically, NU seems to be the least centralized of the standard tiers. It's got, I think, now 63 Pokemon in it, while most only have about 50. 
but yeah, I guess it's a good thing. Uh, lots of people trying lots of stuff in NU. Zeb Stryka. Zeb Stryka is leaving NU. Oh, yeah, Zeb Stryka is leaving NU. Luxray is, I guess, taking its place. Um, Gigalith. Gigalith is no longer NU. That's a little sad. Um, people like Gigalith. And people have realized how awesome Gigalith is for NU. Uh, Caracosta! Caracosta getting a little bit of its due. Uh, people realize that it really wasn't NU worthy. It's really, and it's now up to, uh, it's not PU worthy. It's up to NU, rather. Uh, and that's all. Um, people thought that Audino might rise. People thought that, um, Bastiodon, oh, never mind. I told you about Bastiodon anyway. Uh, Marowak and Electrode were the other two Pokemon that they, that people thought might rise. They have not risen. They're staying in PU. And that, as they say, folks, is that. So those are all the tier changes. If you could actually follow this video, I'm rather impressed. It's much. It's going to be much easier for you to click the link in the description and just read the smog on thread. Um, I guess a lot of you are now going to be going back and redoing a bunch of tiers. Uh, I strongly rec. Uh, uh, sorry, redoing a bunch of your um, teams for Wi-Fi. Uh, have fun with that. And so long, folks.